How's it everyone? Welcome to another racket review right here on Open Court. So I'm super excited because I'm finally trying out the new Wilson Pro Staff line. I have not used this line since the 6195 days. So today we are taking a look at a brand new spec in the Wilson Pro Staff lineup and that is the Wilson Pro Staff X. So before we look at the Wilson Pro Staff X, if you guys like this content, be sure to overhead smash that like and subscribe button to keep the reviews coming. Let's check out the Wilson Pro Staff X. So the Wilson Pro Staff line has been around for a long time. It's a very historic racket. Many great legends of the game have used it, including one of my favorite players, Pete Sampras. He used the Pro Staff 85, as well as the great Roger Federer, who used the 97. So this Pro Staff X has a brand new spec in the Pro Staff family. We'll take a look at that later. Let's check out the new technologies included in the version 14 of the Wilson Pro Staff series. So a new technology incorporated into the Pro Staff version 14 is called the Paradigm Bending. It's basically a carbon fiber construction uh, layup in the hoop over here to help facilitate a unique flex, as well as something called Braid 45, which is just a double braided construction uh, braided at a 45 degree angle to increase the ball pocketing and the dwell time as well as stability to hopefully increase the sweet spot. So the Paradigm Bending and the Braid 45 combine for a unique flex, more dwell time, more stability, and ball pocketing. So basically it's similar to the 45 technology used in some of the other Wilson families, the Clash, the Ultra, and the Blade. So all that technology is fine and all, but it's really the specs that got my attention as this new Pro Staff X has a brand new spec in the Pro Staff family. Let's take a look at that right now. So the notable difference between the Pro Staff X and the Pro Staff 97 is the head size. This has a 100 square inch head, so it's a little bit more forgiving, gonna be a little bit more powerful. But at the same time, it has the same beam thickness as the 97 at 21.5 millimeters straight, which will also give it a decent amount of control. The part that really caught my attention is the weight and balance. As you can see, it's a 315 gram unstrung weight and a 310 millimeter balance. So it's got some heft to it with its static weight, which I like, but it also leans more towards the handle. 310 and below is ideal for me. I like a headlight racket. And so the swing weight is also a little bit lower on the Pro Staff X than the 97. So the weight and balance is right in my wheelhouse. It's 100 square inches, open 16, 19 pattern. It feels like this is going to be an ideal racket for doubles, which is what I primarily play. So I'm super excited to go out and hit with this. So let's get on the court and let's see how the new Pro Staff X plays. All right guys, I'm on court with the new Wilson Pro Staff X. I'm really excited about this because this is a 100 square inch racket so it should match up with my aggressive game. This is my first time using any of the modern Pro Staffs so I'm excited to get this out on the court and see if it plays well with my game. Whoa, okay, this thing swings really fast. I'm actually kind of pleasantly surprised. It has a pretty thin beam which makes it very aerodynamic. And, oh yeah, wow, it swings really fast. Just from these first few hits, I can already tell I like this Pro Staff way better than the Ultra or the Blade. Those are pretty sluggish. This one swings way faster. Yeah, so I really like the weight and balance of the thin aerodynamic beam so far. It is a little bit on the muted side. It could be the strings, but I, I'm getting the sense that this is, it's from the racket, the, the flex. It feels a little bit dampened and mushy, but only a little bit, it's not a, it's not a huge issue. I really like the weight and balance so far, it swings so fast. It's got really good control on these heavy ground strokes. And man, I'm just, I'm super impressed at how easily it cuts through the air. And it's got some weight to it, so it doesn't feel like it's getting pushed around that much from the baseline. I really like that this is 100. It has a decent amount of pop. Maybe not as much as I would normally like, but 
the control and how fast it swings. Man, it feels super good. Now this should be interesting, the volleys. Oh yeah. I really like the weight and balance so far at the net. It's super steady and maneuverable, but it's stable and doesn't really get pushed around a lot. Yeah, this is at, at net is really where I like 100 square inches. Even if I'm just slightly off center, it still packs a punch. But also if I hit it in the center, it has so much put away power and the low volleys, so easy to send back if you just block it. Ah. Of course, it still needs to go over the net. Yeah, it's got, it, it slices through the air so well that it gets really good underspin on the slices on these volleys. Another thing that's really standing out to me at the net here is the dwell time. I really feel the strings or the ball sitting on the strings. It's giving me that feel being able to punch it deep or slice it short. So far, I'm having a hard time deciding where I like this racket more, the net or the baseline. Yeah, this so far is easily my favorite Wilson the racket that I've tried recently. And I haven't even really played a match with it yet, but I like the weight and balance. But man, so solid. All right guys, so I just wrapped up my play test of the Wilson Pro Staff X. And I gotta say, this was a delight to play with. A lot of good things uh, with the new Pro Staff. This racket had a little bit of everything. Power, control, stability, spin. I really like this racket. So let's get into the pros and cons of the Wilson Pro Staff X. So let's start out with the pros of the Wilson Pro Staff X. I was very pleasantly surprised with this racket. Historically, I've never been a huge fan of Wilson rackets, but I can say off the bat that this was my favorite Wilson racket I've tried in years. This Pro Staff X is really good at redirecting power. My favorite shot with this racket was my forehand return. When I stepped in and met the ball cleanly in front of my body, I could send the return back with so much force. During regular rallies against opponents who give me pace, the Pro Staff X was almost like a magic wand. I could redirect the ball into the corners or just rip it and push my opponent around. I got my forehand return to the land just inside the baseline so often and I could follow it up to the net easily. The Pro Staff X is also very stable on both ground strokes and volleys. It's got some weight to it which prevents it from twisting in my hand, but the headlight balance gives this racket so much acceleration and maneuverability. More on that later. The 100 square inch head gives this racket a decent sized sweet spot and assists with torsional stability. I was especially pleased with the stability on my volleys. Literally all I did throughout this playtest was block volleys back and as long as I hit it cleanly in front of my body, the ball went back deep and I rarely missed any. The stability really helps on low volleys when I'm approaching the net. I could punch it back low and deep without much effort. I just had to focus on catching it in front. It's got great directional control at net and I was able to hit my spots on my volleys for the most part and hit angles and attack the open spaces with relative ease. Being able to hit precisely where I'm aiming on volleys is a crucial component of whether I like a racket or not and the Pro Staff X was one of the better rackets at achieving this feat. Because of the thin 21.5mm beam, the Pro Staff X provided great control on full swings. As a matter of fact, this racket encourages you to swing big because it doesn't have much power for a 100 square inch racket. It feels more like a 98 with its power level and control based layup. The thin beam also allowed me to accelerate really fast on my kick serve. This is one of the make or break categories for a racket for me. For example, when I play tested the Blade 98 last year, I struggled to generate any racket head speed on my kick serve and I often served up sitters. Not so with the Pro Staff X. I was able to get my kick serve jumping up and out, my opponents were forced to hit outstretched returns and I was able to start off the point on the offensive. The Pro Staff X was a great all around racket on serve and volley as well and complemented my aggressive game. The Pro Staff was also very comfortable and flexible. I think Wilson has found a good balance between comfort and response. The countervail editions of years past were too muted, but this new V14 feels pretty close to ideal stiffness. It felt very similar to my Prince Phantom 100X in the sense that the dwell time for both of these rackets felt very long. 
I could feel the ball sitting on the string bed for that split second when I struck it and that allowed me to hit towards the sidelines with good accuracy. I'll bet the 97 version probably has more laser like accuracy but even with this ProSaf 100 I didn't spray the ball around erratically like I did with the Wilson Ultra. Also the dwell time helped me hit some soul crushing drop shots. The feel on drop shots is the best that I can remember from a Wilson racket. On more than one occasion I got the ball to die inside the service box and my opponent would not even try for it. It was very satisfying. So this new pro staff was a very pleasant surprise but I did have some issues with it. Let's dive into those now. So let's move into the areas that I struggled with playing with the new pro staff X. In my pro section I said this racket is great at redirecting opponent's power but it is not great at generating its own power. I occasionally hit against players who give me slow loopy balls and whenever I tried to crush those sitters my shots just did not have the pace I was trying to generate. In fact I hit a lot of easy approach shots or high attack shots in the net. Anytime the racket asked me to swing out I just couldn't generate any pace. The ProStaff X is one of the lower powered 100 square inch rackets I've tried in a while. It's similar in that sense to the Prince Phantom 100 or the Head Gravity Pro. I also struggled if my opponents hit high and loopy balls to my backhand. Anytime I tried to generate pace on my high backhand, I couldn't clear the net and I didn't feel comfortable on my backhand unless the ball was at or below my waist. This lack of put away power was also evident on my volleys. I could not generate any pace on slow and easy volleys and I made a lot of errors in the net. If I tried to create extra power by taking my racket further back, I sometimes sailed the ball and I couldn't really grasp the right amount of backswing needed on volleys to be able to hit winners. My guess is that the flexible beam technology and dwell time is the reason for this lack of easy power. If the dwell time on a racket is too long, the ball actually loses some of its kinetic energy as the ball sits on the string bed and comes out with less force. I think the ProStaff X could benefit from a hybrid setup with a softer string in the mains or even natural gut to give it that extra power on slower shots. Secondly, the ProStaff X has a really low launch angle for a 1619. I usually like low trajectories because it keeps my aggressive returns from sailing past the baseline which this racket did for the most part but the low launch of this racket combined with the lower power level also meant that I hit a lot of shots into the net. I even let my friend try the racket for a few games and he hit the first few shots straight into the net. He also commented on the lack of power and low net clearance. I think the ProStaff X could benefit from a thinner gauge string or a tension somewhere in the high 40s maybe low 50s to give it a little more net clearance especially on shots hit below the waist. Lastly, I'm not a huge fan of the new paint job. I know this is irrelevant to most people but I was just expecting a little bit more bright color. The pictures on the retailers made it seem like it was a vibrant goldish color but when I got it it's actually very brown and dark. Wilson calls this paint job rust and I think that's appropriate. Maybe some people out there like this color but I was not a fan of it. Sorry guys. So who is the new Wilson Pro Staff X for? I think it's for players who already can generate good pace but want something a little more forgiving than the 97. This racket also has some heft to it so it's one of the few 100 square inch rackets that are aimed more at advanced ball strikers. This feels more like a player's frame than a tweener. Kind of like the Gravity Pro and Phantom Pro 100. If you are an advanced player and play against others who hit with pace, this Pro Staff X is great at countering and redirecting pace and I had a blast rallying against players who hit hard. I know my con section for this racket seemed a little long but don't get me wrong I enjoy playing with this much more than the Blade or the Ultra. The ProStaff X with its 100 square inch head is a great new addition to the ProStaff lineup and if I were to buy a current gen Wilson racket this might be the one I would pick up but hopefully soon I'll also be able to play test the 97 for you guys as well.
Thank you for watching this review of the new Wilson Pro Staff X right here on Open Court. If you guys like this content, be sure to overhead smash that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you on an open court.